my lovelies welcome or welcome back to my channel today i am going to be doing something a little different and i'm going to be making outfits solely based on disney princesses so i thought this was going to be a good idea just because one of my favorite things about royal high is the fact that we get to dress up and there's so many different outfits we can make and i feel like especially disney princesses i think that's an easy thing to make just because there are so many things in royal high like the outfits and the accessories that'll make it perfect and especially the hairs so i really can't wait to get started and i hope you guys really enjoy this video but before we get started don't forget to like subscribe and maybe comment all right so our first disney princess we're starting off with pocahontas and i feel like she is so beautiful so pretty also she does not have a lot of details compared to the other princesses so i felt like this would be a very simple outfit to make yet still very very gorgeous and i think i did really well on this so like i just said she doesn't have as much details as other princesses which is totally okay i didn't want to go for like a more modern look but i'm not sure if it looks that way i honestly was kind of panicking for her skirt but ultimately chose the summer fantasy skirt and i think it ended up pretty well if you ask me I think I really like this idea of like recreating characters in Royal High because with the amount of things that are included in Royal High, I feel like there's definitely a bunch of characters that we could make. And so yeah, I'm just so excited to like continue making more videos like this because I really do enjoy dressing up a lot. So this is the final Pocahontas outfit. Let me know what you think. Alright, so the next Disney princess might be one of my favorites, if not like just my number one favorite princess, which is Rapunzel. So I think why Rapunzel might be my favorite princess is because I feel like the movie is so well written. It's just so beautiful. Just like the rest of the other princesses, she's so beautiful. And I just think that her personality overall is just so fun and so like refreshing so you guys let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite disney princess because i'm genuinely curious to find out i think that all of them are amazing and they all have their redeeming qualities but i do have to say that my number one is rapunzel i'm not sure which one my second one is but maybe as this video progresses i'll let you guys know so I was kind of struggling with the sleeves because in the movie Rapunzel does have sleeves but I felt like I couldn't perfectly match the ones that she had in the movie. But then I found out that I do have the December's Dreams sleeves and then I just put those on. I tried all the toggles first and they didn't really fit the picture I had in my mind. But then I just put on the first toggle I believe and that one fit perfectly. As for the heels, I decided to go with the Summer Fantasy heels just because they're perfect. They have the barefoot option, which I feel like suits Rapunzel really well. And I'm pretty sure she was barefoot for like all of the movie. So I think it definitely suits her well. And these are also the heels that I use for Pocahontas. So I'm just adding some finishing touches like her crown because of course the whole movie started with Flynn Rider stealing the crown that is supposed to be hers and her trying it on so she definitely needs that crown. So here's the final product. Isn't she so cute? I'm really proud of her. Okay, so the next princess I'm going to recreate is Ariel. I'm pretty sure you can tell by the surroundings, but I think Ariel is a very pretty princess. Her hair color is just so beautiful. I love the red hair, and I also love her personality and how brave she is and how rebellious she is as well. So right here, I was kind of struggling to find bangs that fit Ariel well and also the hair color. I was just kind of second guessing myself because I was like, I don't know if this fits. I don't know if this looks good. Overall, I had to choose a different like hair and bang that doesn't look anything like hers. But I think she still ended up pretty and very recognizable in my opinion. I think Ariel's outfit was super easy to make just because I already had a picture in my mind of what I wanted it to look like. Obviously, I took reference from Pinterest, but it was pretty easy because it was super simple and super cute i do think i forgot her sleeves like her very puffy sleeves but at the end of the day i don't think that really mattered because i think it would have messed up my outfit just because the only puffy sleeves i have are like really big and i feel like there should definitely be smaller toggles on that 
I think she looks super good. I'm not sure if she's entirely recognizable, but I do think that she looks really pretty. I was kind of wondering what to put on her hair just because it seemed a little bit empty, but I found this bow um, from the new set and I just put it on her and I think it really put the outfit together and I think she just looks so beautiful, so pretty. I am so proud of her. I hope you guys let me know down in the comments which one is your favorite. Alright, so moving on to our fourth princess, I also think she is very beautiful and I also think it's really cool that she has a pet tiger. I feel like a lot of people leave that out, but she has a pet tiger. I absolutely love that for her. I did struggle with the hair just because I didn't know what ponytail to choose for her, but also she has a headband. So we don't really have headbands in Royal High yet, which I'm hoping we will get soon. So I felt like this hair was the best representing for her because it does have the headband and Obviously, I had to go with the opposites attract bodice because obviously it just matches hers. I did want to get that like that lace for her pants or her skirt, but I couldn't find the right one. But that's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect just because Royal High doesn't have those items. So I tried the best I could with her outfit and I think it ended up really well. Okay, so quick question. Does anybody else have that glitch where they can't remove the heels? unless you reset the whole game because I've been having that issue for a while now and I'm not sure how to get rid of it or if there's a way to get rid of it. So if you guys have a similar issue and you resolved it, please let me know. Okay, so this is the final outfit and honestly, I think she looks so cute and I think you could definitely recognize which Disney princess this is. So overall, I think I did a really good job. All right, everyone, we've reached the end of our video. I will be making a part two soon, but definitely let me know which one was your favorite so far. I think I did a really good job with all of them. Maybe I could have done a better job with Rapunzel because I feel like you can't really recognize her maybe, but I think with the other two or the other three, I did really well. So you guys let me know down in the comments. And if you really like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next week.